everybody. Jake Breen here with Team Utah Cribs at Berkshire Hathaway Utah Properties. We've just ended the month of August 2015, so I wanted to give you a quick market update on Salt Lake County statistics. First of all, let me go back a little bit in history. Over the last two and a half years, we've experienced rapid appreciation and a quick rebound in Salt Lake County. In a lot of areas, we've been leading the country as far as appreciation and rebounding off the bottom goes and then even jumping back or springing back into all-time high sales. In fact, over this summer, Salt Lake County has achieved a new all-time high median price, a new all-time high single-family residence price per foot, and a new all-time high in volume sales across the Wasatch Front Regional MLS. Whoa, what does all that mean? Well, first of all, let me tell you this. In summer 2006 and 7, we never did what we just did in June and July of 2015. What was that? If you combine every single sale, condo, townhome, and single family residence, so all residential in Salt Lake County, in both the months of June and July 2015, we sold over 500 million in real estate in volume. That's all real estate companies, all realtors, everybody combined in the MLS system. That's never occurred before. Even in those bustling times of 2006 and 2007 before the bubble burst, we never sold over $500 million of volume in Salt Lake County. So that's one thing that's up, and that's an interesting statistic I've tracked over the last 60 days. Something else interesting is even now, uh, today's September 1st, even in August of 2015, we continued the appreciation trend. It's starting to slow a little bit, but median price for a single family residence in Salt Lake County east and west side all combined is now 285,000 as of the end of August 2015. 285,000 median price. Volume in August was barely up from what it was in August of 2014. That's an interesting trend and I'm going to watch what happens here on out through the fall because this summer of 2015 um, every month has significantly outsold summer of 2014 except for so far in August. We we're pretty much flatlined. So here's kind of what we've seen, consumers are filling, what the media is starting to display, and what we've been watching here at Utah Cribs for about 90 days. Number one, for the last couple of years, we bounced off the bottom, we've had rapid appreciation in Salt Lake. It's kind of a frenzy going again. If you drive around, and you get this sense. Well, what that has caused is increasing prices combined with a little bit of an uptick in interest rates is causing a lot of buyers to have sticker shock. And so it is starting to slow. We're not oversaturated with inventory yet, but inventory levels are coming back in check. Of course, that depends on area and price range, but overall in general, they're coming back in check with where they should be. That's slowing down price appreciation, and it's giving buyers a little more room to breathe, a little bit more of an opportunity for a little bit more inventory, an opportunity to make uh, perhaps a little bit more of a drug out purchase, they can search for more properties. It's not like it was last summer where it was multiple offers um, on virtually every, every house that was listed. Also, the last thing I'll say, luxury. We've seen uh, luxury inventory really start to grow rapidly. In fact, over a million dollars, there's currently five years of inventory in Salt Lake County. Um, word on the street is a lot of people were waiting for the market to come back so that they could list their properties at new all-time high prices. Well, they've done that, but a lot of the expensive ones are sitting at this point. So, what do you do? Well, it depends on where you're buying, what price range you're at, and if you're a buyer or a seller. But contact us. We'll educate you so that you can make an educated decision on the market. Thanks for watching.